All right, so do you have any older model of MacBook laying around in your house? For example, from 2013, 2014, and you are not using it just because you cannot install the latest version of macOS, then this video is gonna save you. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Amit, your host for this episode. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can install the latest version of macOS, which is macOS 14 Sonoma, on your older models of Mac. Uh, for example, if you have like old MacBook from like 2013, 2014, then those MacBooks will not support the latest version of macOS. And with that, the problem is that your favorite application is not gonna work as well because the latest application with the latest update will uh, require you to have latest operating system. And to solve that problem, I decided to make this video. So make sure to watch this video till the very end and I'm gonna show you how you can install the latest version of macOS on your older Macs. So let's get into it. All right, so I've got this older version of MacBook Pro from 2013, and the latest version of macOS that it supports is, I think, uh, macOS Catalina. And the problem with that is I cannot use the latest version of application on this Mac, you know? Uh, with the newer updates, it requires you to have macOS higher than, I think, um, 11 or so. So I kind of had to find the way to solve that problem. And from the hardware perspective, this MacBook is still good, you know? So it has really good uh, screen, and the speaker still works, and the battery life is, is all right, you know? So I can uh, install the latest version of macOS on this one, which is macOS Sonoma. And um, this MacBook can be reused again, you know? Uh, it can be used for media consumption, normal internet browsing, and, you know, a, like a small task. Obviously, it's not gonna work uh, on its high performance, due to obvious reasons right because of the hardware compatibility and that sort of stuff however it does the job of uh you know at least you can't use this you know you can probably give away this to a student who is um just in the university or you know if you are thinking to buy a new laptop for your kids then i think it's going to save you some money as well so let's get into it all right so now let's talk about what are the things that is required for you to have in order to install the latest version of mac os on this uh, 2013 MacBook Pro. Okay, so uh, first thing first, you need to have Mac. Obviously, if you don't have Mac, it's not gonna work. And the second thing that you need to have is a USB stick with at least of 16 gig of storage. Okay, so uh, that is something that is very important that you need to get a USB with 16 gig of storage. Okay, and the third thing is that you need to download a tool called Open Core Legacy Patcher, and that tool will gonna help us to build and install the bootloader on your uh, older Mac, and it also gonna help us to create USB bootable drive with the latest macOS on it. So let's get into it. All right, so go to your Google Chrome and type open core uh, legacy patcher. And um, the first link that you're gonna see, open core legacy patcher, that's where you're gonna click. Uh, it's gonna take you to the this page, which is open core legacy patcher. And if you wanna learn about this, um, uh, in details, then obviously I would um, highly recommend you to explore all the website, but in this video, I'm not gonna do that. So you can simply click get started and in the get started page, uh, it's gonna tell you about what is Open Core. Open Core is a sophisticated bootloader used to inject and patch data in memory. Obviously, there are so many details you can read by yourself. So uh, for the, for now, I'm just gonna um, show you something. So you can check the supported model of your Macs in here. For example, whatever Mac uh, model that you have and you can check in here if it's supported or not. Uh, so that is something good information right there. I'm going to now download uh, the uh, macOS. So for that, just uh, click on the download and build macOS installer and click on open core legacy patcher releases app. So what it's going to do is going to take you to the GitHub page for open core and it's going to show you uh, the assets that you need to download. So you don't have to worry about the rest of this. You just need to download the Open Core Patcher uh, GUI app. Okay, so you just need to download. Click on here. It's going to start download. And for the sake of this video, I have already uh, downloaded this uh, here. Just go to your finders, go to your downloads, and Open Core Patcher. So it is a zip file, so you can use a default um, archive utility uh, to um, unzip this file. So I'm just going to do that as well. And once you do that, it's going to open this open core patcher so open the application so um okay so the open core patcher is um installed and now you can see here there are multiple options that you can choose from so the first thing first is the build and install open core so what it's going to do is going to install the bootloader on your drive that will enable you to install the latest version of macOS. so it's not going to throw that error or it's not going to show that uh, this Mac is not compatible. And the second thing that you need to do is create Mac OS installer. So it's like a creating a bootable USB drive, you know? So what you can do is you just click on um, create USB installer 
And if you have already downloaded the latest version of macOS Sonoma, then you can use the existing Mac installer. If not, what you can do is you can download the uh, the latest version of macOS. It has its own library. You know, it has all the version of uh, macOS that you can download. For example, here you can see macOS Big Sur, Monterey, Ventura, Sonoma, which is the latest one. And we're gonna. And you, if you don't have already downloaded it, you can simply download it. And for the sake of this video, uh, because obviously to save time, I have already downloaded it. So I'm not going to do it. However, you can do it from here as well. And one more thing that I'm going to show you is uh, there is the option to download the beta version as well. You know, if you want to uh, install the older version of macOS or the beta version of macOS, then you can simply click so beta version and it will give you more options there, you know. And so let's go back to our main menu. Um, so as I said that I have already downloaded it for the sake of this video. So I'm just going to install. I'm going to use the existing macOS. Okay. Uh, if you haven't uh, already uh, downloaded the latest version of macOS, then you would simply download it. Okay. And you can see uh, there's two options. Obviously, the first one is the one that is already installed on this Mac, which is a macOS Catalina. And the second one is uh, macOS Sonoma, which we have just downloaded it. Okay. And after this, what you need to do is you need to take your drive, plug it into your MacBook and then you can simply click install and once it's detected it will detect your drive okay so uh and you can simply click it right and then it will ask you for the confirmation if you want to do it so again for the sake of this video i have already created the installation media and uh, as i said it's gonna take a long time for you to do so I had that prepared before this video. However, I have recorded that process as well. I'm gonna show you here right now. Go ahead and say click yes. And once you have clicked, it's gonna start creating the installer and it's gonna ask you for your password, which you're just gonna have to enter it. And after this, it's gonna start creating that installer. Okay, so uh, be very patient. As I said, it's gonna take you some time depending on the speed of your uh, drive. So we're gonna come back after finishing this, okay? So let's wait. All right, now we can see that our installation media has been completed and uh, it's now validating the integrity of the installer, okay? So it's gonna take some time, so be patient. So now after completion, you can see it says successfully created the macOS installer and would you like to continue with the installer open core? So at this stage, it is basically giving you an option to kind of do you want to install a open core patcher on this Mac itself or you have a, you know, you just want to create a installation drive. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and say yes, because I want to install the install and build the open core. You know, the one that I explained to you before that build and install open core option will help you to install the bootloader on the drive itself. And that will enable you to install the latest version of Mac OS. So we're going to do that. Okay, so go ahead and click S. All right, so now it's gonna ask you to install to the disk. So click on install to disk and it's gonna ask you to choose the uh, drive. So we're gonna uh, choose the actual drive of this uh, MacBook and enter your uh, admin password there. And uh, after installation, it will ask you to reboot the Mac. So go ahead and reboot your Mac. One eternity later. All right, so now we have come back after the reboot of this device. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna install the Mac OS onto this Mac. Okay, so we have our uh, drive that we created earlier, the USB bootable drive. And what we're gonna simply do is we're gonna shut down this MacBook and we're gonna plug this drive in and then install the Mac OS, okay? Uh, all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply press and hold the Alt key or the Option key in the keyboard and we're gonna power the computer. Okay, so let's do that. So just press it and uh, then power the computer. All right, so now you can see there's three options for you. So choose EFI boot. So this is what uh, we have just installed earlier. Okay, so we've installed the open core on the drive. So this is what it's showing right now. So just gonna click on EFI boot and then to select that and we're going to install the Mac OS Sonoma. Okay, so just go ahead and install that. So now our installation process begins. Okay, so follow the guide and follow the installation process. And at the end of this, you will have your latest Mac OS running on your older model MacBook. So I think this is great, right? So let's wait.
All right, so now the installation process has started and it's now showing the estimated time as like a 51 minutes or 50 minutes. So it's gonna take some time. So be patient, uh, maybe uh, go outside, take a break, take a coffee. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna go outside and come back after the installation has completed. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, now you can see that now uh, latest macOS has been installed. It's trying to log in. So now we're just going to do the initial setup here. So in this setup, now you can see here, um, the, all the previous user data has been restored. Uh, so obviously you have that option to do so. And I did the same as well in here, um, you know, but if you want to completely restart from the beginning and completely erase everything on the drive and uh, like do a fresh install, you can do that as well. Like, like, like a similar to the windows, you can completely erase the drive and then install it. All right, so now we're on the desktop of this MacBook. So let's check the version of this Mac. Okay, so go into this Apple icon, click about this Mac. And you can see here, it is currently installed uh, Sonoma 14.1. Let me zoom that. So you can see here, it is now currently uh, Sonoma 14.1 has been installed on this Mac. All right, guys. So after the installation of your Mac OS, then there's one last thing to do is to install the root patches, okay? And I'm gonna show you how you can do it, okay? So you, what you need to do is you need to open the um, open core patcher again. Uh, and uh, simply there's an option called post install root patch. You need to simply click on that and it's gonna run the installation okay so i'm just gonna start the root patching and for that it's gonna launch as a root that means it's gonna launch the application as admin so i'm just gonna say yes and just enter your admin password okay so it's gonna launch the open core patcher again and it's gonna start patching the system so that means you are basically installing all the required drivers and patches for your system after the new installation of your macOS, okay? And obviously this is not an official way of installing the latest version of macOS. So obviously this uh, is what you need to do after the installation. And after root patching has been completed, what you need to do is you simply need to reboot your machine and your machine is then will be ready to go. Okay, so now I'm just simply gonna uh, click on reboot, okay? And it's gonna reboot your system. 2000 years later. All right, guys, there you have it. You know, we have successfully installed the latest version of macOS Sonoma onto this older model MacBook Pro. Uh, this is from 2013. And if you have any older MacBook models that is laying around in your house, you can do the same and give a new life to your MacBook. And being said that, if you found this video helpful, please be sure to give the thumbs up, you know, and share your thoughts on the comment section down below. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You know, it really motivates me to create more content like this. I'll see you next time. Until then, Take care.